I am very delighted to be addressing this gathering of private and public sector executives from our two countries, and indeed from the wider Gulf Corporation Council. And I note indeed with satisfaction that the business executives have concluded some agreements in services, tourism, goods, logistic, and investments based on the information that I received this morning. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the World Expo 2020 Dubai is one of the largest global events that has taken place during the COVID-19 pandemic. And for this, we do applaud the government of the United Arab Emirates for ensuring that all exhibitors, delegates, and participants in the Expo have been able to do so safely and successfully for the last five months. This Expo has also renewed optimism to the world and provides us all with a platform to explore new opportunities to promote trade and investment between our two countries. Kenya is participating in this Expo. We are here to sell our brand and we have come with high expectations to build new business partnerships with the nationals of this country and the close to 20 million visitors that will be participating in the Expo. This comes at a time when we are all at an inflection point following two years of unprecedented pandemic-related social and economic disruption. I would like at this time to challenge our business leaders, especially those in this forum, to seize this moment and to use this Dubai Expo as a springboard to establish business partnerships that are much more ambitious, more innovative, and which can help us all spur sustainable, as well as a green economic recovery of which Kenya is highly interested. In this context, we have indeed noted a range of goods and services that the United Arab Emirates imports from the rest of the world, products which we believe Kenya can ably produce and supply. These include services such as in hospitality and tourism, banking and financial services, ICT and data processing. And with respect to goods, we have animal and animal products, gold, cut flowers, fish and pharmaceuticals, tobacco, textiles and apparel, vegetables and fruits that the United Arab Emirates could procure from Kenya at very competitive prices. Trade in these goods and services presents huge opportunities which I urge all to seize. These are opportunities, for example, to establish joint ventures, to do value addition of these products at source, and there are opportunities, too, to develop niche markets where Kenya can earmark land to produce some of these goods specifically for the UAE market. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya and the UAE, in particular Dubai, are transport and logistic hubs. And I encourage you to explore opportunities to harness the port and airport infrastructure in the two regions to make the transportation of goods through Kenya into East and Central Africa cheaper and indeed more efficient. The strengthening of trade between our two countries will also go a long way in helping to address the urgent need for job and economic opportunities amongst our people, especially our young people. This requires that we develop trade instruments that are responsive to the needs of young people. And I urge all business leaders to develop a special trading framework that will indeed give special preference to youth and small and medium enterprises for trade in goods and services between the East African community and the Gulf Corporation Council, as indeed is represented by the Ushanga ladies who are here today. Going forward, we need to consider developing a much longer term solution to the many tariff and non-tariff barriers to trade 
that exist between our two countries and regions. And towards this end, as I have been doing for some time, I do propose again that we consider initiating discussions on a free trade agreement with the Gulf Corporation Council under the framework of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. We have already laid the foundation for closer trade and investment ties through our Joint Commission for Cooperation. And it is my hope that our engagement during this Expo will advance this ambition. And I am confident that the opportunities occasioned by this visit to Expo will add traction towards the implementation of this shared vision. Let me assure you, ladies and gentlemen, that all investors and executives attending this business forum, that Kenya has one of the most progressive and globally acknowledged business and investment environments on the African continent. The key element to support an attractive business environment are all in place. And let me just highlight a few of these elements on energy, which is key to sustained good performance of business. Kenya has been expanding our installed capacity of power, and 70% of this is from green and clean sources. Regarding human resource, we have a well-trained and educated skilled labor force and an appropriate legal regime that governs the engagement between private sector and government. Furthermore, on sports, we are also keen to deepen our cooperation in making available our training grounds and coaches to nationals from the Gulf Corporation Council states, and we invite investors from this region to invest in our sporting training as well as our hospitality sectors.